Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Adam Curry Presents. Before we get to business, just want to let you know, beginning Memorial Day Monday in May, the last beginning Monday, May 25th. It's the beginning of our Summer of Games. Classic game shows. And the Summer Nine Scravadanza. So tune in Monday, May 25th at 8 a.m. Eastern, 5 a.m. Pacific for the Summer of Games season premiere. All right, down to the other topics. Today, we're going back to 1975 with... Blank check coming up next. Can you do it like Clyde? Show us by entering the Pepsi Cola NBA Hot Shot Competition. If you're 9 to 18 years old, girl or boy, you can win lots of great things, even a scholarship. And everyone who enters wins a Hot Shot certificate. You can get full details where you buy Pepsi or look for this poster in your neighborhood. Come on, Hot Shot. Show us what you've got. Hot Shot! <laughs> Some portions of this program brought to you in living color on NBC were pre-recorded. checks which could add up to a fortune and where members of our studio audience have a chance to play too. Now in our last program, Maggie Brown here wrote a check for over $5,000. Let's welcome her back to Blank Check. How are you, Maggie? Oh. You have plans for the money already, I'm sure. Uh, it's so unbelievable still at this point, I don't even know. Well, it's true, <laughs> but uh, listen, one of our challengers could uh, top that. And now that you've written a four-digit check, we must select a new uh, check writer. Now, our challengers are over there eagerly waiting to take your place. Right, challengers? Right! All right, here's how we do it. Stand by, Maggie. The new check writer will be the challenger who gives me the word that connects fish and students. Yes, Tom. He doesn't know anybody else. Uh, Linda. School. School is right. All right, Linda's the new challenger. Come on up here, take over. And we'll see what happens with Linda in the check writer's position right after this word. Watch.
Okay, let's pick up our game here. First time as check writer for Linda. And uh, Linda, don't forget, we have 40 combinations of numbers. They start 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and they go 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Highest combination of numbers will be tougher to get. And don't forget, the player who writes the largest individual check of the week will win an automobile worth over $3,000. And uh, Maggie has the lead so far with a check over $5,000. But you can do it, Linda. Good luck. Push that lever in front of you, and let's see the five numbers you have to work with. Here they come. A 3, a 6, a 4, a 5, and a big 8. You could write a check for over $8,000. And she's thinking over her strategy as we uh, find a challenger for Linda. All right, challengers, I want the one word that connects an Italian sandwich and the good guy in a film. Yes, Don. Hero. Hero is right. All right, Don, you are the challenger. Here's Linda, who's going to pick one of the five numbers she has to choose from. What's she going for first? Okay, Linda, I think you have a uh, six. His ESP thinks you have a six. Don't what do you have? Uh -oh. What happened? He got yeah. it right on the nose. Sorry about that, Linda. All right, step down. All right, Don is the new check writer. One of his uh, previous times up, he wrote a check for $524. So all you have to do now is push that button, and let's see what five numbers you have to work with. Okay. Go. Here we go. Nine. The numbers, we have a one, a four, a seven, a two, and a three. All right, we'll pick a challenger for you right now. Let's see if we can get Linda back. Uh, but anybody, hands on buzzers, here we go. The one word that connects a popular dessert and 3.1416. Sharon. Pie. It is pie. You're absolutely right. All right, Sharon, take a look at Don. Don, have you selected your number yet? Here it comes. All right, what do you think, Sharon? Take a look at him. Sharon. I'm going to stick with the three children. Uh-oh, four children. <laughs> All right, he's fooled Sharon, and he has a check worth $4. And let's see who the next challenger will be. Listen, players, I want the one word that connects an English apartment building and Twiggy. Yes, Linda. Flat. Flat is right. Twiggy's chest was the other part of that. All right, Linda. If you guess which number he's going for, you're back in the check writer's position, but he has five, four to choose from. He's picked one now. What do you say? Three children. Three children. One wife. Oh. Hey, all right. He now has a check for $14. He's halfway there. Challengers, listen carefully. I want the one word that connects peaches and the cops. Yes, Linda. Cobbler. No, that's wrong. Uh, Maggie. Buzz, buzz. Buzz, yes. All right, Maggie's the challenger. And Don, you pick one of the three numbers you have left up there, a seven, a two, a three. He keeps talking about his three kids, but uh, what do you think, Maggie? Get it seven, he, I think. She two thinks kids. it's a seven. Seven? It is a seven. Yeah. Oh, good for you, Maggie. All right, Don, you have that $14. It goes to your checking account. Here comes Maggie. She takes over the uh, check writer's position. This is the gal who wrote a check for over $5,000. You know what to do, Maggie. Push the lever, and here come your five to work with. We have a three, a five, a two, a six, and a four. All right, Maggie, we'll see who your challenger is right now. Players, I want the one word that connects to mess around and Nero. Sharon. Fiddle. Fiddle is good. Okay. You're the challenger, Sharon. Maggie is going through her duplicate numbers on the desk here. She's picking one of the five she has to work with, and she has chosen it. <laughs> Sharon, take a look at Maggie. What Maggie. kind of vibes do you get? Five. She thinks you've chosen a five, Maggie. What is it? It is a four. And Maggie has filled in the last place piece of the check for four dollars now. All right, challengers. Now, this is a little bit different. I want two words, and be careful. I want the two words that connect greeting Marshall Dillon and a doorstep foot wiper, Sharon. Hi, Matt. No. Well, time is up. A doorstep foot wiper is a welcome mat, right? Oh, yeah. So you could say hi, Matt, but the... Uh, the other part of it, the doorstep foot by uh, ledger to welcome Matt. All right, here we go. We still have to pick a challenger. And uh, I want the one word that connects morals and the heads of elementary schools. Yes, Don. Principal. Principal is right. Don is the challenger. Maggie, you're picking one of the four numbers left for you. You've already okay, filled in your last Maggie. place. What has she picked? I think she's picked a six. He thinks you've picked a six. Is he right? Yes, yeah. we All right. Well, that four dollars goes in your account, Maggie. Here comes down our check writer. We'll see how he does in a moment, but first we have this quick word for you. Take a look. We'll be right back.
All right, here's Don, you check writer. He knows how to play the game. He's written a check for over $500. Push that lever. Here we go. Your five numbers, Don. Eight, six, three, five, and a four. Let's see how well you do, who your first challenger will be. Players, I want the one word that connects a sled dog and Lauren... Yes, Tom. Husky. Husky is right. Lauren Bacall's voice was the other half of that. All right, Tom, there's Don, who's going to pick one of the numbers. He has a big eight to work with. Don? Three. You're never going to fly here if it's not a five. You said five? five? He five. thinks he's chosen a five. Oh. five. How about that? Uh, Don will be back. Here comes. Hey, congratulations, Tom. That's right. All right, Tom has yet to score. He has no money to this point, but push that lever. Good luck, Tom. And here come the five numbers available to you. A two, a four, a three, a five, and a big seven. All right, he's already picking one. Let's see who your challenger will be. Players, the one word that connects part of the hand and a tropical tree. Yes, Linda. Palm. Palm is right. Linda, Tom has quickly selected one of those numbers. You tell us what he's picked. We're together, Tom. Two. She thinks you've picked a two. Oh. That was a four. I'm on the All right, board. Tom, you're on the board. And whoa, take a listen to this, players. I want the one word that connects a naval diary and Lincoln's cabin. Yes, Sharon. It's a log. It is a log. Sharon is the challenger. Tom, have you picked a number? Not yet. Not yet. I'm working on it. I got okay, it. he's got it now. All right, Sharon, what do you think? I need the money. Daddy needs the money. I'll go for the five. She thinks you've gone for the five, but he's gone for the three. All right. Now, for thirty-four dollars. All right, players. Who will the next challenger be? Listen to this. This is kind of tricky. Now, listen carefully. Give me the one word that connects the IRS and nails for a bulletin board. Yes. Uh, tax. Tom says tax. And you're right. Tax, tax, that's uh, fine. All right, Don, take a look at Tom. He has three numbers left. One of them is a seven, a five, and a two. What do you think? Pick one, Tom. <laughs> right, Tom has it. Right. I think, I think, I think Tom's going for the big check. He thinks he's going seven. for a two. Tom, seven. what do you have? It is a two. You have a check for $234. And you've qualified to go for the fourth place digit in your check, but we'll see what happens in a minute right after this. Take a look. Okay, big moment for our check writer, Tom Mascot, who now gets a chance to play against a member of our studio audience. Who will it be? Johnny Jacobs, tell us. Art, it's Shirley Bellinfonte. It's your turn to play. Shirley, we've got to get you to come out of your shell. <laughs> Shirley, we're going to give you a chance to play blank check. Up to now, uh, Tom has been uh, fooling the challengers, and now you're going to try and fool him, right? In front of you are four prizes. You'll secretly select one and hope that you can fool Tom. Each time you fool him, you'll receive that prize, right? Simple. Okay. Now, as for you, Tom, in order for you to qualify for the fourth digit of your check, you must guess at least one of the three prizes that Shirley has selected. If you fail to do that, you'll have to step down and one of the challengers will take over the check writer's spot. All right, Shirley, here are the four prizes you'll have to choose from. Here's Johnny again. First, an exciting weekend for two in Las Vegas, the City of Lights, excitement and entertainment, valued at $160. Next, this grandfather clock, combining old world charm and contemporary elegance, value of this gift, $415. And here's something that'll really come in handy, a $500 shopping spree. Plus, a good old-fashioned brass bed with all the style and look of the day. Total value, $1,040. All right. Now, Shirley, the four prizes you've just seen are represented in these envelopes you see before you. Select the prize you want, hold it up against you, and don't take it out of the envelope until I tell you. All right, Tom. Shirley has selected one of the four prizes. It's the trip to Vegas, the grandfather clock, the shopping spree, or that brass bed worth over $1,000. Which one do you think it is? I saw her eyes light up like saucers when, that, when they mentioned that shopping spree. I think she might have that. She said she had four kids when it came up. Is it the shopping spree, Shirley? No, it's the trip to Vegas. All right, you've got that prize. All right, here we go. Incidentally, I might remind you, Shirley, 
that if you do that two more times, if you pick three prizes in a row and fool Tom, we'll give you all four prizes and Tom will have to step down. All right, here we go. You've got the grandfather clock, the shopping spree, and the brass bed. Pick one, go. Hold it up. She's thinking, but she's picked it. Tom, you tell us which one. You need a new bed? Is it the brass bed? Is it the brass bed, Shirley? Yes, it is! All right, Tom, you're going for the fourth visit. But Shirley, you did win one prize. It's a trip to Vegas. And here's Johnny Jacobs to tell you all about it. Shirley, it's round-trip transportation to Las Vegas aboard the Las Vegas Celebrity Train, hosted by a guest star conductor. Spend three days, two nights in a hotel, see two midnight shows, and receive a celebrity sun book from the Las Vegas Celebrity Train worth $160. Thanks a lot, Shirley. Nice to see you. All right, congratulations, Tom. You've earned the right to go for the fourth digit. And first, let's get a challenger for you. All right, challengers, big moment. Listen carefully. I want the one word that connects. Suspension and a card game. Yes, Linda. Bridge. Bridge is right. Linda's the challenger. All right, Tom, we have a challenger. It's up to you to make your decision. You could write a check for five, over $5,000 or over $7,000. Pick a five or a seven. Linda, he has done it. Get him, Linda. It's your job to get him, says Sandy. Well, Linda. Tom, you've left me, and I don't like you for that. And <laughs> you want the money as bad as I do. So I'd say seven. She thinks you've gone all the way for the seven. <laughs> He's gone for the five. $4,234. <laughs> more than I make in a whole week. Yeah, me too. Yeah. You know the interesting thing, too? The biggest check so far was written by Maggie with the same number. She has $5,324. So, Tom, we have to select a new check writer since you filled in the entire check. New check writer is the one who comes up with the correct word to this combination. Give me the connecting link here, uh, players. The one word that connects big blue ox and big toes. Yes, Maggie. Babe? No. Yes, Don. Onion. Bunyan, big blue ox and big toe swelling. Bunyan is right. All right, Don, you're the new check writer, so come on down here. All right, Don, once again, you know what right. needs to be done. Here's our airline pilot. He uh, pushes the button, and here come the five numbers for Don to work with. Seven, five, four, two, and three. All right, we'll find a challenger for you right now. Players, listen to this. I want the one word that connects repeated act and Catholic nun. Yes, Linda. Sister. No, that's wrong. Anybody else? Uh, Tom. Habit. Habit is right. All right, Tom is the challenger here. Don, you have five numbers to choose from. Pick one. Don't be greedy, Tom. <laughs> I'm greedy. No. What do you think? Five. Five. You've gone for the five. Seven. No, it's the seven. 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 All right, he has a check for seven dollars. Seven <laughs> digit is still there. Players, listen to this. I want the one word that connects to form something and ham. Tom. Hawk. Hawk is right. All right, Tom, you're the challenger. Don has four numbers to choose from now. Okay, He's Tom. picked one. You tell us what it is. Never. Never. It's a four. It's a four. Is it a four? It's a two. It's a it's two. two. <laughs> you have a check for twenty-seven dollars. Right. Are <laughs> right, you doing well now? All right, Don, you have a check for twenty-seven dollars. Sure. Challengers, here we go. Give me the one word that connects these two things. Istanbul and Thanksgiving. Tom. Turkey. Turkey is right. <laughs> All right, Tom, you're the challenger. Take a look at Don here. He's selecting uh -oh. one of the three Shh. numbers that is left. He's holding it up. Three you... children. <laughs> three children? Here come the three children. Three yeah. children. But I thought you guys had one the other day, so I'll say four. He's going to say four instead of three. <laughs> I had two the other day. It's hey, five. It's five. <laughs> and he has a check for $527. He can now write a check for $3,527. $4,527 because he's qualified to go for the fourth digit by playing a course against a member of our studio audience. Thurman Holiday, it's your turn to play Blank Check. Hello, Thurman. How are you? Where are you from? Hi, Pasadena. What do you do? Teach. Well, right now, you're going to be involved in a little uh, psyching out here with our check writer, Don, up there. Oh, we're going to give you a chance to play blank check. He's been fooling challengers. You try to fool him in front of your four prizes. Secretly select one. Anytime you can fool down, that prize is yours. Great. But, Don, of course, you realize in order to qualify for the fourth digit, you must select, uh, you know, pick one of the three prizes that he's going for. All right, here are the four prizes for you. 
Or dress up for casual this beautiful fashion collection for the woman of today. Total value $250. Next, an organ. This fine instrument featuring quality sound promises hours of enjoyment for the whole family. It's worth $1,090. And a set of radial tires to help you enjoy miles of motoring enjoyment with a value of $325. Plus, you could win this fun-filled pinball machine worth $945. All right, the four prizes just here on the envelopes. Pick one of them now. Hold it up in front of you. Don't take it out of the envelope until I tell you. All right, Don, it's up to you to guess which one of the four prizes it is. Well, Art, he's dressed real well. I think he's a clothes horse. I'll pick the clothes. Diggs has gone for the clothes. No, oh. he's gone for the organ, and he's got it there. All right, Thurman, do that two more times. We'll give you all four prizes. Go ahead. You've got three left now, the clothes, the auto tires, and the pinball machine. Pick one up. Hold it up against you. Do it now. All right, which one, Don? Hmm. Well, I'll try the tires this time. He's thinking about the tires. Go ahead. Oh. It's the pinball machine. He's done it again. There's the big prize now. All right, Thurman, you pick the two top prizes, the uh, organ over $1,000, the pinball machine almost $1,000. There are two left, the clothes and the auto tires. If you can do what you've just done one more time, we'll give you all four prizes, and Don will have to sit down as check writer. All right, there are two left, the clothes and the tires. Pick one now. All right, Don, this is your last chance. Oh, which boy. one is it? All right, I still think a school teacher needs clothes, and I'm going to stick with it. Clothes. He thinks it's the clothes. It is oh. the clothes. All right, Don, you've done it. Very good. You're going for the full blank check. But we have some uh, prizes for you. Take a listen to this, Thurman, from Johnny Jacobs. Yes, Thurman, you've won a Kimball organ with a remarkable new entertainer feature. One button and one finger lets you play chords, rhythm, and bass pedals. Helps you to play both hands without lessons from Kimball Piano and Organ Company worth what? $1,090. And this exciting, colorful four-player pinball machine contains all the features for fun and pleasure in your home from C.A. Robinson worth $945. Total value of your prize is $2,035. All right, Don, stand by. We're going to pause for a minute here. We'll be right back. Don Weber tries to fill in his check tomorrow on Blank Check. Bye. Due to a technical difficulty, Linda had repressed the number combination lever. A new combination came up, and the tape was edited. Due to a technical difficulty, the challenger's buzzers failed to operate on the second question. The question was discarded, the tape edited, and a new question substituted. Because we inadvertently repeated an earlier question, while Don was the check writer, we discarded the question and answer, just the check figures, edited the tape, and substituted a new question. An house price model of automobile may be changed due to availability. The announced dollar value of all merchandise prizes represents a rounded figure. Blank Check is a Jack Perry production. There's a feeling around, it's America sound, Pepsi people feeling free. You get a head start. Are you kidding? We do anything. Free to choose a new way, free to stand up and say, you be you and I'll be me. Okay, Captain, thank the teller. <laughs> when you catch that thirst for living, then you need what your Pepsi is giving. Without a truck, Sonny and Will find it tough to keep moving on tomorrow night on NBC.
I hope you guys tune in for the beloved Adam Curry Presents with a classic 1975 episode of Blank Check. It was a ball. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Don't forget, in the just, like, between six and seven weeks from now, we are going to have our Adam Curry Presents. Beginning Monday, May 25th, 2020, Summer of Games. Beginning Monday, May 25th. Mark your calendar. Good night, everybody. Smile to you.